I'm near as much trouble if I don't score my takedown, and B, I can recover much quicker. So when I shoot a high crotch, just normal from space, and he down blocks and takes his leg away, it takes me a lot more to adjust, right? I got square, I got to get my feet back set, I got to get things back home, because I went away from my body, I got to get things back home. When I'm, when I'm trying to duck or outside step right now, we're attacking basically the high crotch side. If I'm here and I create pressure and I just try to dip and he circles away, no harm, no foul, right? I'm right back to it. But, does anybody notice what he did with his legs? No? Switch, is that switch? His lead leg change. What? Pressure? I dip. He did all the work for me. I didn't have to pull and push and move him around and get him to step. He stepped for me. I took little risks, very little risks, recovered super quick, and he put himself in a position for me to score a pretty, pretty solid single leg. Okay? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to use your dip step and your outside step to create a secondary attack. Because we're not, we're not always get the first attack, right? It's great when we go out and bust them up in the first attack. But when I dip and come right back up, and he circled away, look for a leg attack. This guy's got to stay super woke though. He can't just stand straight up. He's got to circle and move. Maybe a little bit of a down block. All right, so it's dip step and outside step. Now outside step, I know it feels real weird to a lot of you guys. Because we don't ever focus on this. Getting here, all right? Getting to this position. And my feet are straight. Even if he circles out of this, right here. Still got control of my hands. My feet are still set. I'm not looking for a headlock. I didn't dive, right? Everything today has been about keeping my feet under me, keeping my power in place, <coughs> and stealing some part of his body. Don't let your hands just fly, all right? So I'm gonna dip or outside step, and this guy's gonna circle away. Read this guy's reaction, and just trust your instincts. Trust your dog on instincts. Whether it's your first wrestling practice or your 10,000. All right? And you might screw up a bunch. Awesome. That's why we're here. Break a lot of rules. So maybe I dip step. He circles away. Maybe I snap down. Okay? As creative as you want to be. As creative as you want to be. Don't get too far. Not 30 steps later you got to take down. But just feel his reaction and try to work towards your strengths. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? So it's outside step. He recovers. Or dip step. So both of them. So if I, I'm pressure, pressure, I dip, don't see it, whatever my secondary attack is. Don't try to duck them twice. We're just giving them that timing feel over and over. Okay, so pressure, I dip, he circles away. Me, I'm attacking low here. All right, I like going to the backside attacking low. Or I outside step. Here, outside step, don't see it. Okay. Figure it out. That didn't feel great. Alright, we're gonna do that in a match. Go back. Feel it over and over and over again. Go! Right there! Right there!